What are you looking at? Hey, what's going on RC drivers? Greg here and check out the new rig in the garage. Isn't this thing killer? What should we do with it this weekend? Should we throw the rack on the back and then maybe the tent top or do we throw the snorkel on and head out and drive through a stream? This rig is really cool. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. One thing I do know is that Element RC is really stepping up the scale adventure factor of their new rigs. That over there is the Night Runner 4x4 and you have to see some of its features. Element RC keeps stepping it up every single time they release a new kit and the Night Runner 4x4 is no exception. Now to the new hobbyists that are joining us, this is a 110 scale four wheel drive electric ready to run and it comes out of the box just like this. The only thing you need to purchase for it is four AA batteries for the radio system, the battery for the truck and a charger. But doesn't this thing look killer the detail on it is fantastic and that's because they work with knight customs who is a scale off-road accessory manufacturer and uh, he took charge of the body here designed it and designed a lot of the accessories that went on it now let's take a look up front here at the scale molded grill this thing looks fantastic love the honeycomb shape on here it is molded it is separate from the body the lexan body itself and then next to it here we've got these nicely detailed uh, headlights they are a detail but it is clear behind there. I'm going to tell you why it's clear later on. Can't spoil everything just yet, but let's move down to the bumper here. Really nice, aggressive looking bumper on the front. We've got the mounts for some D hooks here, a uh, fair lead through hole. And if you look closely, there's also LED lights in the front bumper. I'm happy to see them on the front of this truck. Now look at the body lines on this, just fantastic. And we get back here to the windshield wipers. These are molded plastic pieces as well. Let me turn it to the side so you can see the side mirrors on here. There's even a silver decal on the back. Then if we look over here, you can see these are door handles that are molded separate in plastic, not just bulges in the Lexan really like the look of that now let me spin the truck around as you can see it's a two-piece body you know we've got the quad cab going on really good looking uh, Toyota style truck that's one thing I didn't mention it isn't licensed but uh, you could tell what type of vehicle it is now back here you know there is some detail in the bed and we're going to talk more about the bed area in a little bit but let's come down here you can see the the tail light decals looking pretty good again clear on the through the back and really nice looking bumper out back perfect for off-road adventures even got a trailer hitch in the back good looking body it does have the four body clip or four body posts poking out through the top so i wish they did go ahead and get rid of those as part of this package because this is a fantastic looking body it shouldn't have body post holes in there but it is what it is and uh, some of the accessories are really going to set this body off and you probably won't even notice it later on down the road but let me take the body off right now so you can see what's going on underneath and if this looks familiar that's because it really is it is much like the trail runner that we have back there you can see it on the back of, of my toolbox but uh, this is a great rig. And as you can see, it's got the IFS front suspension on here. It's a great scale setup. They do have really nice looking arms. Uh, you can see we've got the metal universal drive shafts in there, steering knuckles with aluminum plates on top for the steering. Uh, into the steering itself, we've got twin bell cranks under this top plate here. You can see the servo uh, mounted towards the back, which has a tie rod that goes to the front bell cranks. And actually you can go and put your servo winch on top of this plate. They give you the mounts in the kit as well. But back to the suspension, uh, you know, really nice oil filled coil over shocks on this, uh, aluminum bodies on those shocks. So you could see the aluminum teardrops uh, that drop down to the shock. So it has the proper ride height. Uh, let me spin it around to the back so you could see the rear suspension. Same nice aluminum shocks on the back. And then you could see down in there the four link setup. Now, this is a longer wheelbase than the Trail Runner. I threw it up against the Trail Runner and it is a bit longer and that also allows the shock to lean forward a little bit. So this should handle really well. Definitely liking the longer wheelbase that they set this truck up with. Uh, the ladder frame rails, steel ladder frame rails, the standard cross bracing that we've seen on the Element rigs before. And uh, let's see here, battery mounts up front here. It comes with, set up for the shorty pack, but they also give you the long tray if you wanna run a standard battery battery pack, they, the packs just simply Velcro in. Got a receiver box over here. We've got our floor pans and our rock sliders that have this channel here where the body sits in. So I like that so the body doesn't flutter around. Now, let me talk about, might as well talk about the transmission. So this is the Stealth X transmission and it comes stock with, uh, I believe it's 5.7 overdrive to the front and they include gears in the kit so you could bump it up to almost 12% overdrive in the front. And uh, I know a lot of people do 
that. Uh, but for just general driving sake, the stock setup works really well. And then of course we've got the drive shafts down uh, to the front and rear. You can see they have extruded center sections in here, aluminum, and you can really see the length that uh, this uh, center section is on this because they lengthen the wheelbase so much. But uh, the rear axle, I mean, we've seen this before on the other element trucks, metal gears inside locked in the rear, ball bearings, of course. And then up front, the IFS, as I mentioned, has universal dog bones and a locked, uh, locked front diff. And of course, we've got you know, ball bearings throughout the front as well. So really nice setup for an independent front suspension drivetrain. And uh, let's see, what else should we talk about? I guess that's right. I've covered pretty much everything uh, about the chassis, the suspension. Let's talk about some of the other features like the electronics. So we've got the SC480X speed controller here. This does come with a T-style plug on it. And uh, this is set up well for crawling. It's got some good drag brake to it and even has these little pigtails here to go and power the LED lights. And we've already talked about those before. Receivers inside the receiver box, got a 16 turn five slot motor. That should give this thing plenty of torque. And uh, the servo is the 1320 MG. So that is a metal geared servo and it does have a steel servo horn on there, which I really like. All right, uh, let's go and talk about the tires on this thing really quick. So we've got General Grabber tires, nice looking tread on these. These are a 1.55 and they have these new rims. These are a B-lock style rim, really nice mesh look to them, like the black and even the little decal that comes on the center hub and uh, even the silver screws, really good looking wheel on this. Uh, you may have noticed while I've been walking around this truck here, spinning this truck around, it does have a faux muffler out back. This is really cool. It's got a Magnaflow uh, logo on the bottom of it, but uh, it really helps set off the scale detail of this rig. All right, now let's go over here to other the other stuff that it comes with. And obviously you can see that they have a new scale garage. This is the box that the truck comes in. Uh, you cut it up, tape it back together, and now you have a nice display diorama for your stuff. And here's everything that are in the bags that's inside the box. I've taken it out for you, but uh, let's start off with the XP130 radio system. Really nice looking transmitter, has all your basic trim functions to it. Uh, then you have your bag of spares. There's that tray I mentioned before, uh, the overdrive gears, and then some other accessories like your servo mount, uh, rear body mounts in case you put a different body on there, uh, even a spare axle housing. Uh, there is the mount for the uh, winch servo and some extra ball ends there. And then you guys saw the accessories when I first opened it up. So, you know, you've got your tent top, you've got your rack. These are the mounts so you can go mount the rack to the bed and they give you a snorkel as well. You will have to drill some holes. They do give you the hardware uh, to, to mount this all up, but um, you know it, they leave it off in case you don't want to add that to your particular truck, which I think is really cool. And then over here, the usual paperwork. There is your instruction manuals uh, through for everything, even the truck. And then under here, is the decal sheet. Love all the extra decals so you can customize the look of the body on your own. But back here to the truck, I mean, again, Element really stepped it up on the look of this vehicle. Love the styling of the body. I think they did great by partnering with Knight Customs to design the body for this. And there's more stuff that I gotta tell you about Knight Customs, but I'm going to leave that to the end of the video. Uh, but first I wanna go out and drive this thing. I think I gotta throw the tent and rack on the back and then we'll head out to a local trail.
Before I had hinted, there's gonna be some additional things available for this rig, and that is through Knight Customs. Yeah, he already has over 30 scale accessories designed for the Knight Runner. Things like uh, front grills, uh, additional rack assemblies, and uh, skids for the bottom, interior, even light housings. And these parts are gonna be available for download, so you can print them yourself or for purchase. The possibilities are gonna be endless with what you could do with it. Uh, really cool looking stuff. And definitely check out what he has to offer. I'll have links in the description below. Uh, but now we need to talk about the performance of this rig, and this is just a fun rig. I, I don't know if I should say this, but this might be my favorite Element RC to date, uh, just because I went out on a hike with the family and just really enjoyed driving this rig over the, the walking trails where we went. Uh, we walked over four miles, and most of that was with driving this rig. Uh, I ran it on a 2S pack, and it is just nice and smooth. It's a fun adventure rig to really enjoy the scale factor of RC crawling. Uh, you know, Element, they have a really great chassis. We already know that. The IFS front suspension works really well. Uh, you know, the new speed controller in here, I haven't tested this speed controller yet in a ready to run. This is really nice and smooth, coupled with that five slot motor uh, the steering on here works really well again for just you know flat trailing type of stuff even some of the crawling uh, it held its own there wasn't any real stall the only time I would notice it was when I would get the the front end on a descent kind of hung up in some rocks you do get hung up sometimes here and there with the IFS front suspension uh, you know that's part of driving you need to uh, adjust for your terrain adjust your driving style adjust your approach angles uh, descent angles and everything and once you get the feel for driving with IFS, it's really rather fun and I really enjoyed it. I like the longer wheelbase. I think it's nice and stable, even with the accessory rack on the back and the tent adds a little bit of weight and the, the truck still worked really, really well. And I've added accessories to other rigs before and you kind of need to do some suspension tuning. This seems pretty well set right out of the box. The General Grabber tires, they worked really well on that terrain you guys saw on the rocks, in the dirt, uh, just even muscling through tall grass. Uh, drove this thing through grass for uh, 15 minutes straight, full throttle, uh, no overheating issues, no real issues to report, other than some little minor things that I'm gonna point out to you. Uh, first is the rear axle. There is a lot of slop in the rear axle, so you can actually hear the axles slapping in and out as you're driving over terrain. So, you know, I mean, I just recently nailed a car for a clicking drivetrain, and so I'm gonna nail these guys for hearing that slap in the rear axles. And the other thing is, is because it's got body mounts, um, you know, there is a lot of body jitter. You could hear a lot of clanging going on from the accessories on here, from the body itself. Um, so it's a noise issue. Not so much a noise issue from the uh, transmission forward on this thing. It's a very quiet rig. So I guess, you know, you could throw some shims in the back to, to stop that axle slap from happening. You could throw some foam pads uh, on the body itself and the accessory rack here to quiet that down. And once you do that, it's a quiet rig. You're going to have a blast with. And, uh, you know, again, you could go and accessorize it with everything Night Customs has to offer. Uh, I can't wait to start working on this thing. It's going to be a blast. So if you're really into the scale adventure side of things, Element, they stepped it up and they have a lot to offer with the Night Runner. All right, let me know what you think about the Night Runner in the comment section below. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. I'll have links in the video description and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.